This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Give it up for the notification squad. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want a chance to be featured, make sure you hit that notification bell and come show your girl some love when I drop a new video. Hey yo, Cupcake did not make it on the top list, but this comment is creative, so you get a shout out, girl. <laughs> y'all can pause if y'all wanna read it. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be using the Gershon Poly Gel Kit. This kit is available on Amazon Prime. I have used this kit many times before, but they have done some updates since I last used it. The first update they've done is the hand file. It is now much sturdier and I really like that. And they've also updated the booklet that shows you step by step on how to do the poly gel nails. So this set does come with some dual forms. It comes with six 30 ml tubes of poly gel. You get clear, white, natural pink, dark pink, cover pink. And this one used to be named skin color. So I am happy that they did change that and being red. And these are the colors side by side. So these are my natural nails. I've recently taken off my previous set, so I'm just going to do my nail prep. I first start off by pushing back my cuticles. And I will have links to this cuticle pusher. This is one of my favorite ones. I actually ordered it from a nail tech. So then I use the opposite end of the cuticle pusher to scrape up any of that dead cuticle skin on my nail plate. And then I take the hand file on the 180 side and I just trim my nails down. So I'm using tips today and these are my favorite brand of tips which is the BU Long Stiletto Tips. Today I'm using clear. I always use the natural color but today I wanted to use clear. So after picking out my sizes, I'm gonna glue them on with the IBD brush on nail glue. I picked that up from Sally's, but I think you can also get that from Amazon as well. So I just dab some glue on and apply the tips. So I get questions about why do I, you know, put the long tips on and then trim them. I like the way that these are shaped. I don't have to do too much filing on the sides. Um, I like my nails to be kind of tapered, kind of a coffin shape. So depending if I'm wearing stilettos or if I'm wearing coffin, I can use these tips and get the shape that I like. So after trimming, I'm just going to remove the shine from the nail tip so the poly gel will stick. Next, I'm going in with the base coat gel and I'm just gonna concentrate this on my natural nail. If you get some on the tip, it's no big deal, but this is basically so the poly gel will adhere to your natural nail. So after applying this, I cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And yes, you need a nail lamp to cure this. So I'm using 91% alcohol as my slip solution and I'm just going to pour a little bit into my dampened dish. And I'm using this tool that has the spatula on one side and the brush on the other. So I'm going to use the clear poly gel today and this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to squeeze some out the tube toothpaste style onto my nail and then I just use the brush to lightly pat it in place. I like to work around the cuticle area first to make sure that it's right and then I work down the nail. So Gershon is one of my top favorite poly gels because it is just so easy to work with. I get asked a lot about what is something that is good for beginners and that aren't good with acrylic. And I really, really think that you should try the Gershon Poly Gel. As you can see, I can smooth it with no problem. It's not sticking to my brush and I don't have to constantly dip into the alcohol. Um, it just is really easy to work with. <laughs> 
So once I get that the way that I like, I'm going to cure that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And yes, you need a nail lamp for poly gel. It will not dry without it. So I just continue the same thing for each nail. For this set, I just wanted something plain, kind of like a base set because I am doing gel polish and stuff on top. So this was really, really perfect for this. Um, these came out so good. So I highly recommend the Gershon Poly Gel. I feel like it is the best deal for your buck. You get the one ounce poly gels and they last forever. So once I like how that is shaped, I go ahead and cure that and then I move on to the next nail and so on and so forth. So this is after all of the nails are done and cured. And I just love how smooth this application came out. I really took my time to make sure everything was nice. So after that, I wipe off the tacky layer with alcohol. If you guys are interested in the nails on my other hand, these are the Kiss Dip Powder color nails that I did in my previous video. I will leave a link down below if you guys haven't seen it yet. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with my shaping and filing. And because this application of the poly gel was just superb, <laughs> I didn't have to do too much filing. So this is after the nails have been filed in shape. I did not buff because we're using gel polish and I wanna make sure that it adheres to the nail and doesn't peel or anything. So I'm going in with these Vinalisa gel polishes and I'm going to start off with a yellow and I'm applying that to my pinky nail and my index nail. I went ahead and did two coats of the yellow, of course curing after each coat and now I'm going to move to my middle finger and I'm trying out a vertical ombre using those two colors. And this technique, I wouldn't say it's difficult, it just takes a lot of time to get the blend right. So it was a lot of going back and forth and adding more color here, adding more color there and blending, 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 but you know, you do what you gotta do. So after I like the blend of this first coat, I go ahead and clean around the cuticles and then I cure in my lamp. And now I'm going in with the second coat and just applying more of the colors on each side. And then blend, 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 blend. So towards the end, I found that I actually like blending with the nail polish brush better. Um, so it came out way smoother. <laughs> Just a tip there. So after that, I went ahead and cured. And now I'm going to use the Madame Glam Perfect White Gel Polish. And I'm creating the base for my drip nail. So basically what I'm doing is creating my drip nail with the white polish um, and then I'm going to put the yellow and green on top and I use the white base just so I don't have to do so many coats of the colored polish like it will pop just with one coat. I got this nail art brush from AliExpress and they are really, really good. I love that they are tiny and that I'm able to really get in there and do very small detailed lines. All right, so now I'm using my dotting tool and just going to exaggerate these drips just a bit. And then I take a tiny dotting tool and make some smaller drips. And then I use my bigger dotting tool again just to make sure those drips are really drippy. So I cure that in my nail lamp and now I'm going in with the yellow and I'm basically just filling in all of the white spots. 
so it's like coloring. <laughs> So after wiping off my brush, I go in with the green on the other side and we're just going to meet in the middle and blend those two. And once again, with blending, it just takes patience. You have to go back and forth between the colors to make sure you have a smooth transition from one color to the other. And it just takes patience. So, <laughs> um, but I really think it turned out well. This is probably my second time doing vertical ombre and it does take some patience and some skill, but I really think these turned out very well. Alright, so once I like the blend, I went ahead and cured my nails for 60 seconds and now I'm applying that Gershon top coat. And I do my final cure and my nail lamp. And now I'm going to apply this cuticle oil from Nail Cakery. Everyone always asks about this one and yeah, you have to catch it when it's in stock. So this is the finished look. I love how these nails turned out. Super bright, perfect for summer, and they remind me of Sprite. <laughs> So yeah, I do want to experiment more with vertical ombre. These were really fun to do, even though it sometimes tested my patience. And I want to give a big thank you to Gershon for sponsoring this video. Having wonderful sponsors like Gershon makes this content possible. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.